Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to help SciFeed Icon on making an identifying glass to identify uh, unidentified items that can give random stuff. So let me show you, Silfeed, how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our items tab, and we're going to create a couple new items. We're going to create an item called an unidentified item. We're going to give it whatever icon or description we want. We're going to make it a regular item, and the price is up to you. But make it not consumable, the occasion will be never, and the scope will be none. Because we need to get this, ident this item identified by an alternative means, through an event or using an item. So alternatively, you can add some text color to it if you want to, or you can make it so that it sells or it cannot be sold. Uh, once you're done with that item, we're going to make another item. The identifying glass, as requested. So we're going to give that whatever icon or description you want. It'd be a good idea to let the player know that they're going to use this to identify one of their unidentified items. You can see we're using the text code here to go forward slash ii and then putting a number here is going to call on this number. So when we look at this in game it's going to say use this to identify, use this item to identify one of your unidentified items. You can give it whatever price you want. We'll make this a key item. A matter of fact, we can make this unidentified item a key item as well, just so it doesn't clog up the inventory. We'll give this one consumable because we're going to use this one to make it call on a, a common event. We'll give the occasion menu screen only and it doesn't need any scope or no tags. So let's go to the common event that we're going to create. Create a new slot, we're going to call this one identifying glass. The first thing we're going to do is create a conditional statement. So right click, insert new conditional branch. On this conditional branch, we're going to check to see if the party has the item, the unidentified item. So go over to tab 4 and select create else branch. Select on item and scroll down till you find the new item you just created, the unidentified item. Hit OK. Once you've got that open, um, it's checking to see if the party's got this item. If they do have this item, we're going to take it away. So we're getting rid of their unidentified item by doing a change items. That should be on tab 1. Underneath that, we're going to roll a random number with a variable. So we're going to control variables, right click, insert new, control variables. On this variable, find a free variable that you're not using. Call it identified roll. Set it to a random number between one and however many different items you want it to have. In this case, I'm using 14. So we're going to do a conditional branch for each item that you want it to roll. So we're going to right click, insert new conditional branch. On the first conditional branch, we're going to select that variable that we just created, the identified role, and we're going to say equals to. Not greater than, not less than, just straight equals to. And we're going to set it to 1, with no else handler is required. So if that random number between 1 and 14 is a 1, we're going to do this. We're going to award the first item we want it to have a possibility of getting, and we're going to show the text so the player knows what item they just got. You're going to right click that, copy that, and paste it underneath. Underneath that, you're going to uh, edit that and you're going to change the 1 to a 2. Still you don't need any else handlers for any of these. Change the item that the player is going to get. Change the text so they know what they're going to, they know what the item the player received. Copy that and paste that until you've got all the different kinds of items that would be a possibility for the unidentified item. At the very end of that we're going to find the else handler from the first conditional statement. For the, if they have the identified item, because when they use the magnify or the identifying glass, it's going to consume that item. But they'll still be able to consume that item if they don't have any unidentified items. So that's why we do the conditional branch at the beginning to check. So the else handler is to reward that item back if they don't actually use it. So underneath that else handler, we're going to say you don't have any uh, unidentified items, or you can use the text note tags to insert that icon there as well. And then we're going to change items and we're going to award that item back to them, the unidentified glass. This is the item they use to call this common event. So let's go back, we'll hit apply, let's go back to our items and make sure that on the identifying glass we're going to go over to effects, right click, edit that, go over to other, go down to common event and select that common event we just created, the identifying glass. Hit OK. Hit, um, don't forget to save your game. Now let's test it out. In these treasure chests I've awarded some gold, some tokens, some identifying glass, but I haven't awarded any unidentified items. In this other chest, we've awarded some unidentified items. So this is going to be a way to check uh, to see if it works without uh, having the items and works if it does have the items. As a bonus, you didn't ask for this, but I thought it would be a cool idea. You can create an event 
that will do this for you. It's just a little bit more work. So basically use the same things that you learned in that common event, but put it in an, in an event itself, and you can have the player, instead of consuming an item, they'll be able to pay for uh, identification from a diviner with uh, crafters tokens, which is another alternative currency. I'm going to put a link in the description below for that uh, plugin as well. It's not required, but it's a really cool plugin, and you should check it out. Um, and you could also, uh, that's a Yanfly plugin, or you could also use gold. So well, if they have a thousand gold, they'll be able to do this. But let's take a look at the special request. So we're going to open up the chest and we've got the identifying glass. But we and we will take note that we have five of them. But we don't have any ident unidentified items. But let's see what happens when we use this. You don't have any unidentified items. But it did consume an item to do that common event. But did it um but we still have five because at the end of that common event we've awarded one back on the else handler so this is going to stop the player from just wasting them accidentally so this is your fail safe here now that we've got that uh bug tested let's test to see if it'll actually identify the items so now that we've got some unidentified items we're going to use our identifying glass to identify them let's see what we get you obtained a face mask of dark visions awesome I like that let's see if it oops let's see if it consumed those items so it consumed an identifying glass and an unidentified item what happens if we try to use an unidentified item it doesn't let us because we made it not consumable I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Silphied if you did like this uh, this uh, tutorial if anybody else liked it remember to like favorite share and subscribe that thumbs up really helps you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any other special requests that you'd like to see made, leave a comment below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you once again for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial.